What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we are always talking about money. If this is your first time checking me out, you stumbled into a channel where money is the primary focus. So if you talk, want to talk about getting more money, getting money to work for you or anything money related, you're in the right place. Stick around, check out this short video where I'm going to drop a few golden nuggets. If you think it's earned at the end, reward the channel with a subscribe and a like. On that note, guys, let's go, let's go. This is the third part, the third part of my three-part series about why the crash isn't coming, guys. It's already here. Part one was all about the stock market. Part two was about real estate. This last part is going to be a quick, short focus on the job market. Guys, the job market crash ain't coming. It's already here. You just may not be paying close attention. There was a bunch of jobs slash recently up to 1 million jobs that were supposedly available that are now no longer available. Okay. And to me, there's two major reasons why the crash ain't coming. It's already here. Number one is the reaction to inflation. So as inflation has lingered longer than it normally does historically in other inflationary periods, you're going to see less demand on certain things that you did with your disposable income because you just don't have as much disposable income. And when I say you, I'm saying the average American. So we're talking about inflation really tearing a liner into a new line and into your pocket when it comes to your grocery bill and everybody has to eat. So if you're a person that does a lot of takeout or if you're a person that's a home cook and primarily shops at grocery stores to get your food, Whatever you do, it's costing you a lot more than it was a year or two ago. And it's not costing 5% more, 10% more. In some cases, it's 20, 30%, just depending on what you are buying and what means you are using uh, to buy it, whether you're using like an Instacart, shopping at a traditional store, or getting food delivered to you. It's all costing more. Number two is very simple. It's a cycle. Job markets go in cycles. Job markets usually either grossly favor employers or grossly favor employees. We're coming out of a phase where people were getting jobs offered to them and were just literally saying, screw it. I'm not even going to answer the email to, to start the onboarding process, to stop answering phone calls, you know, uh, text messages from employers that were offering jobs. They were accepting these jobs and then another job came along and maybe paid a little bit more or had better flexibility or on some better terms and they just said forget it i'm out i'm gonna take this other job and i'm not even gonna let the employer know that's when things were in favor of employees now the market is going to shift towards being in favor of employers when that happens you usually see less jobs available you usually see less flexibility and benefits and just less you know uh less uh less advantages for the employee and lastly you usually see a little bit lower pay so mark my words if you don't believe it the crash may not be here in your estimation i say it is but you're going to see it soon and for those two reasons the inflation and then just the fact that things go in cycles when it comes to the job market we are going to see a significant dip that's all I got on that, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you got some value out of it. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell. If you want to check out other parts of this series about why the crash isn't coming, it's already here. Check it out right here. And on that note, guys, I am 100% gone.